going to try a little bit of this now. I want a bit of the mince and a bit of the crumbly biscuit as well. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, really nice. Mmm. The biscuit is really crumbly and the mince meat is very sweet as well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Go. They're really good. Excuse me. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. So yes, going to be enjoying the rest of this with a cup of tea this afternoon. Hi everyone and welcome back to Gigi's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious homemade gingerbread mince pies. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious homemade gingerbread mince pies so this recipe is really easy to do and um, my husband has been commenting on the fact that he hasn't had any mince pies yet this year so as I said in yesterday's video I thought I better start making some today so what I have done in this bowl here I have about 200 grams of oats that I've ground in the food processor. I also have about 100 grams of ground almonds, 100 grams of rice flour as well. If you haven't got rice flour, then you can always use just plain flour instead. I have a gluten intolerance, which is why I'm not using plain flour, I'm using rice flour. Um, and I've just blended those ingredients together. And to that, I'm going to add some baking powder. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I have made this recipe before, which is why I haven't shown you how to blend it. And the original recipe, I will link in the description box below for you. And next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of ginger. My husband absolutely loves ginger, so I do have to put a lot in. But if you don't like that much ginger in your gingerbread, then please don't add that much. Add as much or as little as you like, really. And then I've got about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of ground cinnamon there as well. And I'm just gonna mix those ingredients together like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some melted coconut oil, um, some melted almond butter and some maple syrup that I've just melted in a pan together, like so, and I'm gonna add that to the dry ingredients. So I'm going to add my wet ingredients to the dry ones. I'm just gonna make a little well in the middle, and I'm just gonna pour this in, like so. I'm gonna try and get as much of that out as possible. And then I'm gonna mix these ingredients together until they form a dough. So if you find that your dough is a little bit too wet and sticky, then you can always add more rice flour or plain flour to the mixture. I'm hoping that this will be a good consistency, but I think I may have to add a little bit more rice flour, to be honest. That looks a little bit wet to me. Oh no, it is drying out now. You do have to scrape around the bottom of the bowl to make sure that you can to make sure you get everything mixed in together like so. So I think that's done now. I think I will add a little bit more brown rice flour to that though. I have added a couple more tablespoons of rice flour to the cookie or biscuit dough mixture. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll them out and put them into the muffin tray. So I have greased these muffin trays with a little bit of coconut oil just on the base. And now I'm just gonna roll out some of the cookie dough. I'm just gonna flour the board with some rice flour. Obviously if you're using plain flour then use plain flour to uh, flour your board. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll the dough out to probably about half a centimetre thickness and then I'm going to cut the dough with a cookie cutter. Now I've used this cookie cutter before to m make things in this to make food in this tray and I know that this fits perfectly when I put a cookie that I cut from it in there. 
So I'm just going to put the cookie that I've cut into the tray, into the muffin tray like so. And that is going to act as the base for our uh, mince pies. And now I've got a star shape here as well. And that is just going to go on top once I fill these with the mince pie filling. So I'll show you again. I'm just going to cut a piece of the dough like so. And I'm going to put that into the muffin tray. And then I'm going to cut a shape for the top. And I'm just going to stick that on a tray next to it. And I'm going to continue to do that until I've used up all of the dough. So I've finished making the bases for the mince pies. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these in the fridge for half an hour. The reason I do that is because hopefully the biscuit dough that I'm using as the base and the top will become nice and crunchy. So as I said, I'm off to put these into the fridge for about half an hour and I will preheat my oven in a little while too. The biscuit dough has been in the fridge for about 15 minutes, so I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. The oven has preheated and the bases and the lids for the mince pies have been in the fridge for a, a good half an hour. And yesterday I made some mince meat for the inside of the pies, which I'm now going to put into the pies. So I'm just gonna spoon this mince meat into the pies like so and then once i've spooned it all in i shall stick on the lid and that is it basically you can use a milk wash or an egg wash if you want to obviously these are vegan because they have coconut oil in and not butter so if you are making them for vegans then i would use something like um oat milk or almond milk is good as well so yes as I said, I'm just going to continue to fill these pies and then I will pop them into the oven. I've finished filling the mince pies with the mince meat I made yesterday and that recipe and video I will link in the description box below for you. But I'm now going to pop the mince pies into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. The mince pies have turned a lovely golden brown colour, so I'm going to take these out of the oven and leave them to cool. And once they are cool, I will let you know how they taste, but they smell absolutely delicious and I can't wait to try one. I've taken the mince pies out of the muffin tin and I'm just going to try one. What I would say to you is don't take them out too soon because they do, they are quite crumbly and because they've got no gluten in, they don't tend to stick together as well as a normal mince pie would when it's warm. So they did fall apart quite easily, I have to say. So I did leave them for a good half an hour to cool down before I try to, before I try to take them out the muffin tins. So I'm just going to try a little bit of this now. I want a bit of the mince and a bit of the crumbly biscuit as well. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, really nice. Mmm. The biscuit is really crumbly, and the mince meat is very sweet as well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. God, they're really good. Excuse me. Mmm. That is delicious. So, yes. Going to be enjoying the rest of this with a cup of tea this afternoon. That's how you make my delicious homemade gingerbread mince pies and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be enjoying one of these with a cup of tea this afternoon and I can't wait. They smelled and tasted so good. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.